What's up guys? So the volatility looks like it's finally back in the market. There's been a lot of movers and a lot of decent volume. Uh, so hopefully we have a few more good setups tomorrow as we did today. Um, I had some family over so I wasn't able to upload any videos this weekend but I should be uploading all last week's trading videos soon. Um, and with that being said, here's Beginner Trading's watch list for August 21st, 2017. Okay, so the first one on my watch list is ARCI. This one is up huge from Friday. It closed on Friday at 60 cents and it gapped up over the weekend and uh, currently opened up at a 80 cents. Um, at the open today, it ran all the way up to the dollar 20s before uh, getting stuff back down and then running all the way up to the dollar 50s range. It tried to break the dollar 50s a few times, but never ended up holding over that mark um, and ended up closing around a dollar 40. But in after hours, it did pop over that dollar 50s range and it reached all the way up to the dollar 70s. Um, currently, it's sitting at 160, but it still looks like it's very strong, has a lot of strength, and it could be a nice long setup tomorrow. Still, it does seem a little bit over extended so be careful if you are going to decide to trade this one but um, with all these things with it gapping up high volume everything like that I'm definitely going to be watching this one tomorrow at the open Okay, so the next one on my watch list is CEI. This one had a lot of volume today as well. Um, ran up from the 18 cent mark all the way up to the 28 cent mark. So it's up, um, you know, a decent amount, a huge amount, um, almost 100% or a little bit over 100% it looks like. And uh, currently in after hours, it's up all the way to 29 cents, so it's gapping up as well. And so this one's really moving. Um, I'm slowly liking these really cheap stocks, these sub to one dollar stocks. I've been trading them more and more lately, and uh, you know I've been having profitable trades with them. Um, and so for those reasons, I'm going to be watching this one tomorrow for sure. Hopefully this one can run up a little bit, but it is up over 100% already, and so it's definitely something you need to be careful with. Still, with all these things, with all the high volume and the big push today, um, I'm going to be watching this one tomorrow for sure. Okay, so another one I'm watching is JMEI, Jamie. Um, yeah, so this one, it ran up a little bit today and then washed out for the rest of the day. Today was its first red day. It had had a nice push for the you know day before that um, on Friday. And so because of that, I'm looking for a possible another long setup tomorrow. It's still up a decent amount from whenever it ran up on um Friday, but it did wash out today. But still, um, I'm looking for this one to possibly rebound and hit another, try to push um, over $4 maybe if this one can hold it. Um, but yeah, this one washed out pretty hard today. Uh, a lot of selling off happened. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it was just a squeeze uh, that all the longs were just getting squeezed out. Um, but still, it's definitely one to pay attention to. I want to see what this one uh, does uh, pre-market tomorrow. It hasn't been moving that much after hours today, but since it had a big runner on uh, Friday and it ran up all the way from two dollars and eighty cents all the way up to the three sixties, um, and then it crashed back down today. I'm watching this one for a possible bounce play to see if it can rebound and continue that push higher to the four dollar range. Okay, so the last one on my list is RTNB. Uh, this one got halted a decent amount yesterday or on uh, Friday. Um, I was watching this one as well. I actually traded this one in my Robinhood account on Friday for a big gain, a big percentage gain on my Robinhood account. Still, this one's extremely risky. It did get halted um, Friday a few times. Uh, where it ran up from the $0.60 cent range to the $2.49 range. Um, it opened up today at right around $0.80, cents and it ran all the way up to the $1.40s, just over the $1.40s, and I think it actually touched over $1.50 as well. Um, and it eventually got stuff back down, but it held those gains for the most part, and it did move a little bit after hours today. And so I'm going to be watching this one to see if it can try to make another push towards the $1.50s, and if it does, uh, maybe it would be a possible good long setup. Still, this one's really risky. It got halted, like I said, um, and so you got to be really careful with this one. But with all the volume, all the eyes on this thing, I'm going to be watching this one tomorrow most likely, and uh, hopefully we can get a nice long setup. All right, guys, so that's my watch list for tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday, August 22nd. Um, the volume is back in the market. The volatility has been pretty nice lately. There's been a lot of things moving every day. Um, so it looks like those summer trading months are starting to come to a close and there's going to be a lot of good setups to trade. Um, just be careful, guys. Make sure you uh, only trade A-plus setups and make sure you're very uh, considerate with what you get into. Don't just over-trade and force trades and just be careful, guys. Uh, anyways, guys, good luck in the markets. If you want to keep watching more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, make sure to come check out our free daily 
day trading chat room. I post the link in every video's description. So we've always had a good amount of people there every morning talking trade list, uh, trade ideas, watch lists, stuff like that. So be sure to come check it out when you can. And uh, good luck in the markets, guys.